हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वेलकम टू आवर चैनल की ऑफ एजुकेशन जोन टुडे वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न समथिंग रिलेटेड टू इंट्रोडक्शन टू ईआरपी इन ई कॉमर्स देर आर सेवरल टॉपिक इन ई कॉमर्स बट राइट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द ईआरपी दैट इज एंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट वी वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज ई आर पी एंड वाई शुड वी लर्न इट any company that is related to any business purpose is known as enterprise resource resource means everything in an enterprise which are involved to any type of resources just like the company's goodwill company's product company's resource persons employees and experts companies profile every detail they all are resource kaise ise resource keh rahe hain kuch bhi ek company ke jo bhi kaam aate hain jisko hum log jiske through is company ka benefit ho sakta hai us sab ko hum log resource keh rahe hain so employee enterprise resource and how to plan how to use this resources that is a category and which software integrate this type to give you the all resource planning of an entire enterprise that is termed as erp so the definition of erp we can say erp is a process of managing all resources and their users of an entire enterprise in a coordinated manner that is called nothing but enterprise resource planning or erp so i think up to this level what is erp is right now clear ERP means once again I am telling enterprise resource planning. Now let's take one example. I'm taking two example for any education and institution, and another I'm taking example of an iron manufacturing company. Now these two are two different level of organization. to different level of enterprise now for the iron manufacturing company the resources was the resources is their iron quality their experts of mechanical or other engineers the resource persons are also the layman's the all other employees the company's goodwill and obviously the manufactured product now for the educational institute their resources the resources of good student good teacher good training courses etc so all different level of resources are there now how they are utilize them suppose a teacher of physics obviously they can gives the detail of physics they cannot able to gives the detail of or the expertization of another subject like history so for that what they can if you maintain that resource for that purpose they will give their expertization better that type of planning which make by any software then that will be termed as erp i think it is right now clear so erp is a set of integrated business application or module which carry out common business functions such as general ledger accounting 
order management etc so for this example also i think i can able to make you clear what is erp now the erp system definition is also clear set of integrated business application obviously all this i'm taking two example iron manufacturing company and the business institute uh, the educational institution both are making their business but their resources are different so they have to utilize this different way but also one motto is there also that is earning money or making its betterment of that enterprise so they are also they have to maintain a integrated and integrated total planning system that will be termed as erp so after this level what is erp and how could we learn about erp it is clear to you once again i have to tell you in between this lecture that if you have any queries or any type of doubt then don't forget to give us command we will try our level best to solve them so please go through you will able to get i think this is erp lecture 1 so the whatever you will learn here will be followed by second or third lectures also right now let's come back to our track erp enterprise resource planning once again i am telling enterprise resources how can we plan to use them that is erp now when we are try to develop this erp something we have to keep in our mind what's that i am taking already two example for them if the same erp will be activate for this no so whenever you are designing any erp there also you have to take the control of their resources and the enterprise type making uh, making that type of integration you can develop so you can develop an erp for educational institute will be applicable for any type of educational institute but not applicable for iron manufacturing company and vice versa also so after this level it is clear that one manufact one type of erp will not applicable for everywhere in screen the definition is also coming main points is also coming and i am also discussing so i think it will make you fully clear the concept at first the concept will be generated then it will be able to solve every type of problem so erp we will make such a way that it will be platform independent and also applicable but there we have to keep something in mind that is the support system through optimizing if i am developing something so what we have to keep in our mind at first hrm human resource management what type of human resource you are getting for your enterprise what i am telling already i am taking two example suppose for iron manufacturing company their all employees i am not taking about the engineers and others other employees may be not to some extent literate whereas if i am taking an educational institutes human resources there all the teachers and other clerks also about highly qualified so there also if that type of resources you are getting human resources you have to utilize them in different way also next the logistic management what 
you preserving what you are storing for your purposes that will be also different now for maintenance that also iron manufacturing companies their product maintenance and in case of educational institute their students any feedback or any type of disqualification that maintenance is separately different next the sales and distribution that methods also you have to incorporate in your erp and that also different for different next the quality management there also you have to maintain what type of enterprise you have their goodwill for any educational institution their student performance their course performance next the material management for my iron manufacturing company the raw material iron goods etc for here the material what you, type of students you are taking next the most important part of any type of erp that is the financial system obviously it's make a big part obviously because what type of financial support you are getting and what you are getting benefits that is most important for any businesses also and the manufacturing what you are manufacturing that is your quality product and that is the main resource of any enterprise and strategic and operational planning that is also that means what the strategy you are following and what the operation you will handle now what makes the erp different this all you have to maintain but it will be an integrated module you have to develop one erp in such a way that it will be integrated totally the all over enterprise it will be controlled and here also it will maintain the same database for different purposes different database so different layers will be generated and the total enterprise will be not entirely controlled by a single erp update one module automatically update others obviously when you are integrate in case of any integrated system when you are updating one module it will be also make the images of others now erp system reflects a specific way doing business and must look your value chain rather than function obviously and one erp is for one year and it will be over no so the value chain will be maintained recycling process will be maintained so that way whenever you are changing one erp then it will be change your total strategy of business that means suppose if you are the head of any business organization you have one motto your motivation and etc now if somebody has change their motto their thinking power and their capabilities will be different so something will change also now what is the benefits of erp actually whenever we are we doing any erp for any business organization one thing we have to keep in our mind that is the common set of data the help to integrating application for decision making and planning and also allow departments to talk with each other it is easy to integrate by using processed build into erp software here it is a way force b pr and it is way to solve why to keep problem also that means entire company will follow a single data will handle separate way so always everybody can able to handle it 
Now, what is the difficulty? Obviously, there is some difficulty for implementing ERP. Actually, when you are coming, you are integrating the entire organization. There are different types of people you will get. And if you have to integrate them all, then a difficulties may come. What type of, that is, a system, a software you are developing, so a cost problem is there, obviously. Another, that is over here implementation, one day you cannot integrate the entire, so a time complexity will be generated. The company may implement in certain modules in the entire, entire ERP system. What is that? Suppose for any type you have a planning organization, you have a finance organization part you in your organization, you have one arts, commerce and science part for an education. There also if you have to integrate, their types are different. So a entire system maintaining is to some extent difficult. Now some common pitfalls is there, that's why we can able to develop ERP. There are so many difficulties, there are so many things, but still we are trying to develop. Why? Because if it is manufactured, if it is prepared, not manufactured, it is prepared, then no adequate benchmark of current state is needed. Do not plan for major transformation. What it will be incorporated once, it will be goes on. And didn't executive portion or executive sponsorship needed. So these all are benefits. After this first lecture, we discuss after this level. Next, we will discuss more and more things. So if you think it help you, then don't forget to like, share this video and also subscribe our channel KZ Key of Education Zone. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to get this type of videos first notification. So, thank you.